Oh, there's the video yet, eh? Well, that's what we got done. I guess we'll uh, now go in the house and get some more. And so here we go some more. Left it overnight without uh, anything in there. I mean, the shelf in there. And I just put these pots in. What I did is I put them up on shelves. And then I put them up on pads on top of that. And I got one down here in the front. Kind of what I'm hoping is... good I guess. I think I can see the cones. Probably kind of no light on there now. Well, I stuck that on a couple of them. shells that I have long skinny shells. Kind of like this. Plus we got those all set up. Well, let's see. Hmm, looks like the lighting set here. All right, I'm going to put this shelf on. And we'll go from there. Good enough, eh? Better be. All right, well, something I decided to do is I put some kill wash on using this little old thing here. few spots there were, I don't know, it just peels right off all the time. Maybe it got too thick, but it seems like there's places where it don't want to stay. And here, I'll put a second coat on. Maybe that'll work. Two thin coats, eh? Put pots on that spot exactly, but let's try that. Now what I'm going to do, dry it out. Bye. I'm going to light some charcoal. And find a way, maybe I'll break it in, I don't know cover this up with something. Spread it along the floor down there and then the heat will travel under here and dry out them wads and the shelf. Plastic down is going to help. I don't think it's going to get that hot in there. Just a 
enough to raise the temperature a little bit. A little while, I'll go back and pull that out. Pull the thing out and uh, then after that, I guess I'll spread the charcoal around, eh? later on that. Alrighty folks, well what I did is uh, <clears throat> I got the charcoal lid in there and then I took some of my brick from the wall that was all stacked up here from the door put it in there, try to dry it out a little bit, it's got a bunch of ice on it and as a result I think I almost dried this out pretty good looks like and what's it say in here? 39 degrees. Okay, how about that? It's supposed to be right around freezing. 43% humidity outside, I guess, or in the kiln. Uh, so, what I'm going to do... Continue setting setting my posts with the wide ones about there Straddling that shell. Pull this one back a little. There. Okay. And we'll get Center. Hmm, I got one missing, I think. Plus, I got a lot of dirt on here. Hmm, there it is. I'm going to shim up the center. Alright. I'll start loading those or get those brick out of there too, maybe. Hey, better get them out while I can. Alright, a little bit later. Alright, so here we go. See what I got now. <clears throat> Put them in there like that. And I hope they stay on those little pads. <laughs> they might shrink too much. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll get a little kissing on there. and That'll be all right. <clears throat> okay, okay. Well, I hope I got enough space over there. Now that I see the curve of that wall coming in, a little different than it's in the house. Well, we'll see. Should have room right there, I hope. And then the two two pots right across from each other. Well, let's go see what we got. All right. All right, here we go some more, folks. Just a quick uh, peek at what I got going on in this air kiln now. And this uh, load in the front <clears throat> is... Uh, See, I put a lot of shells underneath there. Keep it up off there in case there's enough ash. I don't want it running glazes. I don't want them uh, sticking to the shelf. And then down there, I even put some little to it plates. <coughs> I don't know if I need them back here very far. I haven't really found a lot of 
We really stuck a lot of pots to the kiln shelves except up front in my old kiln, so I'm going to wad them up there. Back here. Now I've been working in here with the light on and it's turned to be 32 degrees. It's, uh, well, it's 32 out, I think. Yeah. Anyway. Wow, what's that? What happened there? I'll be. I see. The pot fell. Oh darn, I guess I got some work to do. Uh-oh. Okay, good thing I looked. Wonder what got in there. Some more, here we go. Got my post in the center. This is the second layer here. And right there I got one of those swirly shells full of uh, kiln wash. I injected it in there and then I mounted a bowl on there. We'll see what happens. A couple more with shells on it. And I broke the pot till it goes here, so that's it. That'll be empty. <laughs> See if that works in there. Thing will probably tip over. I don't know. Anyway, it's looking good. More later. Well, so, okay, folks. Well, I got a little ahead of myself there, and I loaded that shelf in without like photographing what happened down in the bottom there underneath there so I guess we'll just go through the magic of video we'll go right there <laughs> and take a look here you see I got the cone packs 13, 12, 11, 10, 9 got a few side stack pieces I think it'll be all right. Got some spaces here and there, I hope. But then again, I want it kind of tight right there to force the heat up. And you're here. See? That way that heat can come right up through there. Won't be blocked by a shelf there in the middle. So, alright. Well, that's what we got there. And we'll put a stoke hole in somewhere about there. Alright, good enough, hey? Alright, well, here we are. Some more. Got a little bit more done in there. Looks just about like it did in the house. Except I got a couple of extra pieces. Then we'll hide a little cone pack back there, 9 and 10. A couple of pieces on some shells. Now I guess I'll see if I can see this from inside, from outside here. It's quite a big pack of cones, but we'll see. I need to get an old one up front so I know what's going on. <clears throat> now, okay, I guess I'll put this shelf on. We've got another layer to go yet. And then we get our things here. Anyway, pretty good. Pretty good. Later. Alright, folks, well, we had a little change of plans up here. I decided to <coughs> put that big old dragon pot up there because I couldn't get it in the door here. Put a couple of cones. I couldn't get it in when the shelf's in place here. It wouldn't fit. But I think I can get all the other stuff that fits on this shelf here. So, anyway, making a little more progress here. I think I'll put that shelf in. And then finish the cups. Alright. Looks good, eh? <laughs>